Hi, in this lesson, we'll see the basics of Oracle Business Suite architecture. First, we'll see what is the Business Suite three tier architecture. Then, we'll see the definitions of server, tier, and node. These three definitions are very important to understand in detail about the architecture of Business Suite. Then, we'll see some of the real-time deployments of Oracle Business Suite. And by using these deployments, the examples of these deployments, we'll understand much better about server, tier, and node. So, what is the Oracle Business Suite architecture? Oracle Business Suite architecture is basically a three-tier architecture. It consists of client tier, application tier, and database tier. If you would have already known how the end user accesses Oracle Business Suite, which was explained in the pre in the previous lessons, you know that Oracle Business Suite end user or user basically uses a simple web browser on his laptop or desktop, and he types a URL. When he types a URL, the application tier listens to this request. It will process the request and send back the output. Now, the most important thing you need to understand is inside the application tier there is something called server, which is, for example, there are different servers. For example, web server, form server, and concurrent processing server, etc. So, when the user is requesting a specific web page, that is, for example, the login page, when the user types the URL that specific request is listened by the web server or basically it's called the http server the oracle http server is responsible for listening to this specific request and it will process the request and send back the web page to the user similarly if the user is requesting a form then that is handled by form server similarly if the user wants to run a report that is handled by the concurrent processing server so based on the type of request one of the servers of the application tier will listen to the request, process the request, and send back the required output. Now, let us see the definition of the server. A server is a process or group of process that listen to specific request, process the request, and send back the output. So, in our in this case, what I have told before is a web server listens to web, web, web page requests, it will process the request and send back the web page. Similarly, form server will listen to the forms request and will send back to the form. So, so a server basically is nothing but a process. Now, apply the same logic to the database tier as well. So, here you have something called database server. So, database server, as you would know very well, that it listens to the SQL request. Let's say, for example, you want to select the list of employees in the company from the employees table. You run select start from employees. So that is a database request, a data request, and the database server will listen to the request. It will process the request and send back the output or the data basically. So that is the definition of server. Now, what is a tier exactly? A tier is a logical group of one or more servers. So for example, on the database tier, I have only one server that is database server. On the application tier, I have a lot of servers that can be Oracle HTTP server, form server, and concurrent processing server. You have something called admin server, managed servers, and different servers actually. Each of these servers have their own responsibility and they process specific type of request. A tier basically is a logical grouping, remember, whereas a server is a physical process which runs on the system or the machine where you run that specific software. Now, what is a node? A node is a physical machine where your software is installed and the actual processes run. Then, one more important point you need to understand is a tire consists of one or more nodes. So, we'll, we'll see this example how it can be interpreted and how it can be applied to the real time deployments. Now, a single node deployment or single node installation of Oracle Business Suite means that I have only one machine in which I am installing, I am keeping both application tire and database tire. What it means is all the servers which are related application type, for example, web server and form server or concurrent processing server, even the web logic admin server and all the components will basically run on the application tier itself. And coming to the database tier, we have the RDB, RDBMS, which is the database server also running on the same system. If you are running both application tier and database tier on the same machine, then basically it's called a single node. And in multi-node architecture, you can see that I'm using two different systems, two different nodes. 
one node basically runs the application tire and one for the database tire. So you can also say in the other way that the application tire consists of only one node or it basically spreads over only one node and the, the database tier also has only one node. Now this is an example of high availability deployment and as you can see here the application tier consists of two nodes and database tier also consists of two nodes. As you know the importance of this specific deployment if any of the nodes is not available due to any of the reasons still the other node will be avail available for the end users. Similarly if one of the database node is down still the other node will be available to listen and process the requests. Now if you see this example I, you can say that the application tire node application tire basically consists of two different nodes and you'll have let's say for example admin server of oracle business suite running here web server running here and also web server runs here so even if one node is down the web page request will be listened and processed by the other node so let us revise the basic definitions of server tier and node node is a physical machine where you have the software installed for example this is node 1 and this is node 2 of the application tier and this is node 1 of database and this is node 2 of the database and a server is nothing but a physical process which runs on these nodes here and here so if you run psf and ef grep http you can see the http specific process that is the web server related process and then the last thing is a tire a tire is a logical combination of one or more servers the application tier consists of web server and web logic server and form server, concurrent processing server, etc. And a tire can spread over one or more nodes. As you can see in this example, the tire is a specific tire spreads over more than one nodes, that is two nodes here. So these are the most important definitions of server, tire, and node.